I'm going to show you how to get rid of bugs inside and outside of your home. Let's start right here in the garden. Every year I have some type of problem with insects in the garden, mostly aphids. But I found a couple of solutions that actually keep bugs away. First, companion planting. Planting certain types of plants alongside of others helps against the fight against pest control. For example, broccoli and green onions. Aphids seem to be really attracted to my broccoli and cauliflower leaves, but the aphids aren't too fond of the onions. So let the onions help you out. Plant them in clusters, and they are a great way to deter insects. Look at how great the cauliflower is doing. This one grew to the size of a volleyball. Another option is to make your own pesticide with things you already have in the home. All you need is two cups of water, two cups of hot peppers, two cloves of garlic, a few drops of dish soap or castile soap, and that's it. Blend it all together, strain it, and you're ready to spray it throughout your garden. The last place I want to see bugs are in my home, and certainly not in my kitchen. Use what you already have in your home. Take a bottle of red wine, for example. Take a sip. And leave the rest for the bugs. Fruit flies like the smell of the wine, so leave a glass next to the fruit and watch the bugs gather around for the party. Some of them will go in for a taste and actually die, especially if you add a few drops of dishwashing liquid. But you don't have to kill the pest. Many will simply sit on the edge of the glass and enjoy the aroma. You can simply cover the glass, take it outside, and let the bugs fly away. Bee leaves can add a little spice to your food, but bugs really aren't too fond of the flavor. So I use the bay leaves to get rid of the bugs that I keep finding in my dried foods, like rice, flour, and even cereal. I just put the bay leaves in my food canisters. They are known to repel pantry pests, and the bugs have pretty much disappeared out of my kitchen since I started using them. So now you have a few simple ways for you and the bugs to coexist. If you have any other natural remedies, leave them for us on our Facebook page at The Green Desert. And as always, Thank you for viewing and share with all your friends.